Dr. Manus Cancer Institute, uh, which was also known as Michigan Cancer Foundation, was the first comprehensive uh, cancer center to be recognized by the NCI in the state of Michigan. And um, due to the designation uh, and all the resources uh, that we have, uh, we do basic biological science, we do translational science, we have uh, active population science division in addition to all the clinical research including a busy phase one program. Uh, we are an NCI designated comprehensive cancer center so at any given point in time we have over 800 clinical trials that are ongoing and um, this provides opportunities for our patients to receive the newest drugs in development that would otherwise not be available outside of a clinical trial. Um, coming to an NCI designated cancer center, we've all um, been able to be um, a part of some form of a research project. We work with specific um, databases, whether that be the SEER database, K um, the Keras database, or the BMT database. The clinical rotations that you have during your fellowship will be primarily at Carmanos Cancer Institute. We do provide consultative services at the Detroit Medical Center, and there are some rotations during which time you would be at the Veterans Affairs Hospital, which is uh, right uh, across the street from Carmanos Cancer Institute. Our rotations are primarily at Carmanos Cancer Institute. Uh, we have them in the inpatient side uh, where the service is divided into three main services. One is the inpatient oncology floors, the hematology floors, and the BMT floors. On the hematology and oncology inpatient services, they are primarily hospitalist service uh, run by hospitalists and residents from the Detroit Medical Center. And the fellows and attendings provide um, consultative services. We get to see at least six weeks with each of the specialties, so six weeks of lung, six weeks of GI, six weeks of breast, six weeks of head and neck. Um, we also spend um, a fair amount of time on the malignant hematology service as well as the bone marrow transplant service and um, also in benign hematology. We have the ability to do electives. On top of that we get an hour third year to really uh, model uh, our year to what we want to do afterwards. So if you're interested in one specific topic you can go ahead and do that. Um, if not, uh, and you want to get ready for private practice, you can uh, do that too. And one of the strengths about our, our program is the hematology and the bone marrow transplant experience. Uh, so as a fellow, you will be able to involve in BMT care both during inpatient and during outpatient. Uh, and also we are privileged to have a or be able to enroll patients in CAR T-cell trials, which you also be able to see and experience uh, this new advancement. We have an excellent training here. I want to practice in malignant heme. We have a dedicated benign heme team here, an excellent malignant hematology program, and a solid BMT team. We've had um, our graduates over the last about five years, majority of the graduates have gone into uh, practices where either it's academic or semi-academic. Um, there have been a few people who've gone into private practice and um, knowing all of them and getting feedback from them, it seems that all of them feel well prepared whether they go into academic practice or into private practice. One thing that I think is really important about this program is the research opportunities that exist for the fellows. Whether or not you have a very uh, deep background in research or a very basic background in research, our, our staff is ready to uh, listen to your ideas and to help you evolve as a uh, clinician but also as a research clinician. We have a very active population science uh, division which participates and is very well funded in a lot of um, extramural funding. Uh, we are also one of the founding centers where SEER database was started, so that is another database. Uh, we have access to uh, molecular uh, testing databases. We have access to national cancer databases. Uh, we have mentors. They either have their own ideas or they're open to listen to ours. 
One of the unique aspects of the program is the Fellowship Research Committee, uh, which is a mentorship uh, committee that was developed to assist fellows in finding research opportunities and the resources available for them to conduct research studies. At the monthly meetings, two fellows will uh, present their ongoing research projects anywhere from literature review to final presentation. We have fellowship didactics where we meet at least three times a week um, to discuss different topics. Monday afternoons we meet to have a hematology conference where we talk about some of the most um, updated information about a specific hematologic topic. On Wednesdays we have fellows case conference where a fellow will come to um, the conference with questions and cases where we can all discuss the way to manage specific types of tumors and um, hematologic uh, malignancies. We also have a fellows journal club where we get to be paired up with the statistician and we get to work through a newly published um, journal article and kind of go through the caveats of the trial to see whether or not these results, one, would change practice, one, how we should even interpret the um, data based on the way the statistics and the design of the trial are. So it really does make you a very well-versed practitioner. And uh, another unique aspect of the fellowship program is the fellows have their own clinic, uh, both in the solid tumors, malignant heme, and benign heme, and they have their own patients where they're responsible for all of their um, diagnosis and treatment. And um, I think this is a very unique aspect of the program that is not otherwise uh, available in, in other uh, programs in Michigan and throughout the uh, country. Continuity clinic with a concept that you build your clinic since you start the fellowship and you follow your own patients. Um, you are their primary uh, physician, whether hematologist or oncologist. It actually put you in responsibility uh, to read more about your patients, uh, be more prepared to treat them. So Carmanos offers 15 multidisciplinary teams um, and they meet um, um, weekly or bi-weekly um, to have uh, tumor boards to discuss all the new uh, patients and any complicated cases um, in order to develop a uh, unique treatment plan for each patient. The multidisciplinary tumor boards are an invaluable experience to have. We not only have multidisciplinary tumor boards for each of the subspecialties of oncology, but also for malignant hematology and benign hematology as well in one. And the cases are profoundly uh, educational. Uh, you are learning in this program also how to discuss your case in uh, the tumor board, in the uh, conferences, so you uh, get a multidisciplinary decision. We uh, set uh, weekly in each of the subspecialties with um, um, the medical oncologist, the uh, radiologist, the surgeons, uh, if this is a solid oncology, and then we all discuss the plans for our patients and we update on the subsequent conferences. Um, I think one of the best things about this program is the people, both um, the fellows, who you can't see now, we're surrounded by each other, uh, and then the staff here and the faculty. So you get um, really solid training across the board um, in just a collegiate atmosphere. We really help each other. And we have, you know, some of us are more into him. Some of us could be like him faculty right now. Some of us are more into Ankh, and we really um, come together to support each other. It offers us uh, both um, the good academic uh, input, a uh, strong uh, base of knowledge. It provides you the full background or the basis to excel in whatever you like actually. And what I like the most is the collegial environment. Uh, you really don't feel pushed around, you don't feel compelled to do what you are not liking. Um, and I guess that's the basic strength of the program. During first year, we have some introductory lectures, so they get 
up to speed in terms of the basics of management of uh, patients, be it leukemia patients or patients with uh, complications from chemotherapy. And we hope that will help uh, ease the transition from uh, medicine residency into fellowship so you guys are able to manage these patients effectively and have the resources that you need um, at your tips. Um, our chief fellow uh, for this year, Dr. Patel, has put together a survival guide uh, for the fellows, which has been um, which has been well received by the first year fellows this year and we hope to build on that uh, over the next few years so that um, you have all the numbers, common diseases that the management and the numbers to call for different labs uh, when you need results um, in a jiffy. I feel that everybody here is very down to earth. All the attendings I found very approachable, easy to ask questions. And that's really one of the great things I was looking in a fellowship program is lots of learning and lots of time to smile and enjoy. I did my residency here at Detroit in DMC. And one of the reasons I wanted to stay back and choose Carmanos is because from a resident point of view, I always felt like the fellows got together really well. Like they were good friends with each other. And that's what I wanted in a fellowship program. I wanted to come to work and feel like I'm hanging out with friends. One of the best uh, thing about our fellowship is our program coordinator and program director were very supportive. Um, it is uh, incredibly diverse and has uh, enough uh, clinical and research opportunities, uh, including the clinical trials. I chose Carmanos because it provides multidisciplinary uh, cancer care and it's a referral center and I get to see a lot of pathology in various stages. Faculty is expert and we have tumor boards of all kinds, grand rounds. And it's an exciting learning experience. And I chose to stay here because of the great chance at learning. It's a truly comprehensive program, the great staff. And when I was looking for a fellowship program and going through the interview process, one of the things that instantly caught me when I was interviewing here at Carmanos was this warm sense of collegiality, not only between the fellows uh, that I met that day, but also between all of the staff. They were all extremely courteous and genuinely interested in terms of the training that the fellows were receiving. Our attendings are very uh, supportive, very helpful. They're our friends. They um, give us um, uh, comfort so we can uh, discuss with them uh, all our cases, um, any questions that we we have. I also really like the spirit of the fellowship. Uh, we have 15 fellows overall. We're a very close tight-knit group. We often have um, events together, outings. So I think one of the biggest things about this program that makes it really amazing is the you know the camaraderie I think between the fellows and I think you've probably heard this many times by now but I think it's something that's worth emphasizing and um, something that's really true uh, we really feel like we're one big family and we always rely on each other I live in the downtown area and I wouldn't change it for anything I've been able to go walk to football games basketball games baseball games as well as hockey games and it's been really great experience for me there's always a new um, restaurant that's popping up that's there to try and um, Detroit takes their food scene very seriously and makes sure that they have new and up-and-coming um, restaurants always around but outside of just the urban aspects and urban offerings that the Metro Detroit area has to offer, there's also a quick drive to nature and to outdoor recreational activities. You can drive literally three hours north and it almost feels like you are in a different state. There's a lot of camping, there's a lot of water sports, you know, lakes, rivers. I myself personally enjoy canoeing and fishing and I don't feel like I'm losing any of that by being in this program or living in this area because it's simply right outside my back door. So overall, uh, what uh, we can assure you is that during the three years that you're here, you will have great clinical training, you'll have access 
to research, uh, not only clinical research, but also if you're interested in population science-based research. We have a large database of transplant patients that a lot of fellows have worked with. Um, and you'll be, um, some of the fellows have also worked on the sickle cell database that we have. And those are some of the unique things that we offer at Kermanos Cancer Institute.